I cannot emphasize strongly enough that the UN is totally committed to stay and deliver for the people of Gaza. And I pay tribute to the heroic humanitarian aid workers who remain committed to their work despite the enormous dangers to their health and their lives. But the situation is simply becoming untenable. The Council called in Resolution 2712, and I quote, for the scaling up of the provision of such supplies to meet the humanitarian needs of the civilian population, especially children. End quote. I deeply regret to inform the Council that under current conditions on the ground, the fulfillment of this mandate has become impossible. We are all aware that Israel began its military operations in response to the brutal terror attacks unleashed by Hamas and other Palestinian armed groups on 7 October. I unreservedly condemn those attacks, and I'm appalled by the reports of sexual violence. There is no possible justification for deliberately killing some 1,200 1, people, including 33 children, injuring thousands more, and taking hundreds of hostages. At the same time, the brutality perpetrated by Hamas can never justify the collective punishment of the Palestinian people. And while indiscriminate rocket fire by Hamas into Israel and the use of civilians as human shields are in contravention with the laws of war, such conduct does not absolve Israel on its own violations. The people of Gaza are looking into the abyss. The international community must do everything possible to end their ordeal. I urge the Council to spare no effort to push for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire, for the protection of civilians, and for the urgent delivery of life-saving aid. While we deal with the current crisis, we cannot lose sight of the only viable possibility for a peaceful future, a two-state solution on the basis of United Nations resolutions and international law, with Israel and Palestine living side by side in peace and security. This is vital for Israelis, Palestinians, and for the international peace and security. The eyes of the world and the eyes of history are watching. It's time to act, and I thank you. Agradezco al Secretario General por la, afirmación que ha, que, la información que ha proporcionado. Mr. President, I want to welcome you to New York. This war is part of the assault to end the Palestinian people as a nation and to destroy the question of Palestine. If you do not share this objective, you must stand against the war. I told you they will make Gaza unlivable for all. This is Netanyahu's war. This is the war of the extremist coalition in power in Israel. No one should get sucked into it any further. Its aim is not security. Its aim is to prevent forever any prospect of Palestinian independence and of peace. That they will displace the people that they were pushing them, killing them in the process, and that if eventually they will. We call on you in the name of humanity, in the name of justice, in the name of peace, to vote for a ceasefire by supporting the resolution presented by the United Arab Emirates as Arab representative on the Security Council. We thank all those co-sponsoring it from across the globe. What is happening in Palestine now and what will happen next will determine the future of our region for generations to come. Agradezco al observador permanente del Estado Observador de Palestina por su declaración. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, recently the world Following the atrocities of October 7th, Israel committed itself to the elimination of Hamas's capabilities for the sole 
reason of ensuring that such horrors could never be repeated again. And if Hamas is not destroyed, such horrors will be repeated. Hamas officials have made it clear publicly, time and again, that October 7th was just a rehearsal. Hamas is the root cause of the situation in Gaza, yet there is zero account accountability for their evil. <coughs> Why is Hamas not held fully responsible by the UN and its bodies? Tell Gaza the truth. They have, they have to hear it from you. This is the only way to bring about bottom-up change in Gaza. Hamas has a clear script. If you call for a ceasefire, then you are following it. Hamas knows that it cannot defeat Israel on the conventional battlefield. This is why Hamas targets the murder and murder civilians. They seek to terrorize Israelis and drive us out of our homeland in fear. The deliberate targeting of medical facilities, equipment, and personnel.